okay now discussing the advantages and disadvantages of the accounting first of all let's discuss the advantages advantages of accounting we have already discussed in the characteristics objectives and the functioning of accounting that how beneficial accounting is but let's uh, now now let's discuss the basic points on which we can say that accounting is advantageous to us first of all it helps us in providing the financial information about the business so first advantage is financial information information about business right now what are the second advantage yes assistance to the management assistance to the management we have al already discussed that how it helps us uh, has the management in assisting for the future growth what are what is our third advantage that is maintaining the records maintaining records whether the previous records or the current records which helps us in which helps us in yes which uh, the records will help us in the future for uh, for analyzing the financial position of the business okay now coming towards the fourth advantage that is facilitates the comparative study facilitates the comparative study as we have discussed that accounting helps us in maintaining the records these records in future will helps us in guiding uh, which helps us in guiding or making the comparative study of the financial position in the previous or the current stage coming towards the next advantage that is facilitates facilitates settlement of of tax liability we have already discussed in the functioning of functioning of accounting that uh, the preparation of accounts helps in the settlement of taxation liabilities because for um, because court co take it as the evidence the uh, and on the basis of accounting we are required to fill the return we are required to submit the return on timely basis in the prescribed form so this is how accounting helps in facilitating the settlement of tax liability coming towards the sixth advantage that is facilitates loan facilitates loan preparation of account or the uh, position statement that is balance sheet has the form in ascertaining the credit worthiness of the firm and thus the financial institutions and the banks help uh, bank help the firm by providing the loan on the basis of their credit worthiness so firm is required to maintain accounts to go for the loans coming towards the next benefit the uh, next advantage that is evidence in the court evidence in the court only on the basis of accounts on the on the basis of the statement we have prepared the court uh, court uh, take it as evidence as they are already pres uh, as they are already in the prescribed manner and on the basis of the principles and concept and thus Go take it evidence in case of any default in the future. Eighth advantage is helps in decision making. We have already discussed that it helps the management in assistance or the users as well. users basically it helps the users in making their individual decision as per their individual interest 
as per their individual interest thus preparation of accounts helps the user in making their decision in future this is what our advantages are now coming towards the disadvantages of the account okay now discussing the disadvantages of accounting disadvantages one pages of accounting coming towards the first disadvantage that is accounting is not fully exact accounting is not fully exact say even though accounts are prepared on the basis of the receipts and the payments made or the transaction have made and we have we are having the receipt of such transaction but there are few transactions which are not dependent upon the receipt say depreciation or provision of bad debts and for that we uh, and th this is because of uh, uh, this is uh, this is because of which we can say that accounting is not always fully exact as it includes for, uh, different types of provisions such as provision of depreciation of depreciation or provision of bad debts as well and thus are not always fully exact coming towards the next disadvantage that is accounting accounting does not indicate accounting does not indicate the realizable realizable value what do you mean by realizable value it is basically the value which uh, which is at which the uh, some asset is sold so is it possible that all assets are mean to be sold obviously not there is only stock which we purchase for the further sale but there are few fixed assets fixed assets such as plant and machinery or land and building furniture and fixtures etc which includes the usage of such assets but not the sale of such assets but even if sale is included then it is not the actual realizable value as it involves the reduction of depreciation amount and at the time we found that the plant and machinery is not of uh, future use then we we will sell it but it uh, but this uh, but we can't specify the exact realizable value of such used plant and machinery so we can say that accounting does not indicate the actual realizable value coming towards the third limitation of accounting that is it ignores the qualitative element such as the quality of quality of staff public relations maintained by the firm public relations or industrial relations or industrial relation of one industry with the other industrial relations whether what what is the quality of competition of one industry having with the other so the other limitation of accounting is it does not include in its uh, in its system the qualitative elements of the firm coming towards the next limitation that is accounting ignores accounting ignores the effect of price level change changes 
What do you mean by effect of change in price level? Say inflation, inflation or deflation period, deflation period. In one, the prices rise, and in other, the prices falls. Depends on the nature of the uh, business. Each firm affect from the inflation or deflation but in case of accounting it involves transactions at the historical cost historical historical cost that is at the time when the business purchased the product at the same cost the firm will record the cost but what if in future inflation or deflation took place obviously the price level will change now level changes but in uh, but in case of accounting it does not show such change so it is one of the limitation of accounting that it ignores the effect of change in the price level Coming towards the fifth limitation that is accounting may lead to lead to window dressing. What do you mean by window dressing? Yes. Each firm prepare their account on the basis of their requirement. Say in case of taxation, what a firm need? to show more and more losses as they want to pay less taxes but in case of going for taking loans they want to increase their credit worthiness increase their credit worthiness thus need to show more and more profits so many of the firms prepare their account accounting report or accounting statement as per their requirements whether they need to show more losses or more profits so on the on the basis we can say that accounting is not always exact accounting may lead to window dressing as well thank you with this we have completed the advantages and disadvantages of the accounting thank you for thank you for uh, thank you for learning from our app hope you are enjoying our app that is scholar learning